Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And today what I have is I have a solution for those of you that use V-Bots. They have a pusher that they make um, for the V-Bots to be able to push things. And they're kind of expensive. I've looked online and they might be like five, six, seven dollars maybe a pusher. So, you know, everybody's just watching how much they spend. Today, I have a solution if you don't want to spend all that money and still want a pusher for your B-Bots. Okay, so being a STEM teacher, I had to think like a STEM teacher and go, okay, let me look at the design of this B-Bot pusher. And I'm like, okay, it just needs to be attached to the B-Bot and be able to push something. And so I'm thinking, you know, I don't, you know, want the B-Bot pusher company to be upset at me, but I thought, you know, there has to be an easier, more or less expensive way. And so it's just gonna involve a paper towel or toilet paper roll. And I'm gonna show you what I did with this to get a very cheap B-Bot pusher. Okay, so if you want just a pusher, um, you would just need to take the toilet paper roll and basically cut it in half. So you have kind of like a bulldozer or a snow, you know, pusher type front to it. Um, but I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, but you know, there's nothing on the sides to keep whatever they're pushing, um, you know, from sliding off to the side. And so I did a different design where I just cut the toilet paper roll a little differently to give myself or the, the pusher in the front, I gave it a little bit of a border to it or side kind of protectors to keep whatever the B-Bot's pushing enclosed in that pusher. And so what you're gonna be able to have the students do now is you just need some duct tape and or electrical tape and I just fasten this onto the front of the B-Bot. And now I can have all of my students have a pusher. Because I'm thinking, you know, if six of the plastic pushers are like $30, I'm like, man, I'm gonna need at least 18 of these. So I'm talking 90, $100. And so I thought there has to be a cheaper way and now every student, you know, I was thinking maybe I can just have six kids with a pusher. And then I thought, well, that's not fair. And so now I can have a pusher for everybody. So if you want to have your students push off things, um, you know, maybe they'll, they'll code their V-Bots to push things off the mat. Um, you can now give every student one of these and it didn't cost very much. So I want you to give that a shot and definitely in the comment section, tell me how did that go? Um, I have not used that with my students yet. So if you beat me to it, I'd love to know how that goes. Um, but I'm hoping it's, it's a success without having to pay all that money. And we finally came up with a way or solution. I initially thought about 3D printing those. But I'm thinking, wow, how long would that take to print all of those? This, I believe, is a faster, cheaper solution to that. But I definitely want to know how it goes for you, and I hope this was helpful. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.